good? Yep. All right. So, Coach, how motivated have the Spiders been this offseason to get back to being that playoff caliber team, and, and what are your keys to making that happen? Well, they've been extremely motivated. Uh, very, very, very disappointed. I, I can't throw enough varies in there for the disappointing season that it was last year. Uh, I think our players uh, did not like the, the taste that it left in their mouth to be four and seven. Now, we ended on a good note. We played well against William and Mary, which helped, but uh, they're very motivated to be uh, a championship type of team again at the University of Richmond. They understand the tradition that we've had uh, we've won a lot of championships. We won a national championship. So they understand that. I think they're motivated. They've worked really, really hard uh, since last day. I think, I think some of our older guys, we're not going to have a ton of seniors this year, but I think the seniors that we have uh, are showing tremendous leadership. And so, I, you know, I feel good about where, where we're heading. You know, earlier today, Maurice was recognized as the preseason CA Defensive Player of the Year. What makes him so difficult to block, and, and what does he mean to your defense? Well, for one, he's powerful, and you know he 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 can he can run and rush the passer, and he can do the edge stuff. But he's so powerful that you know he can he can bowl people uh, and kind of over overpower people. He's 270 pounds playing on the edge there, and and is explosive, can can run and jump, and um, and, and he studies the game. He wants to be great, so. You know, I, I just, uh, Mo is as good a guy as I've been around. And, you know, he's got a bright future. I think he can play at the next level, too. You know, and staying on that side of the ball, you have seven other starters back defensively. With, with guys becoming more acclimated to your system, do you expect that to be a, a really strong point of the team this year? Yeah, we're going to be better on defense. That's one of the, the commitments that we made. We're going to run the ball better. We're going to be better on defense, and we're not turning it over. So, yes, we will be better. And there's going to be some competition. We've got three out of the four back up front who are three really good players with another defensive end that played a lot and a defensive tackle. So we feel good about that spot. Linebackers, we think we're pretty athletic there. Secondary is going to be fun to watch because, you know, we have Marcus Vincent started for us last year and Noah Nicholson, but we brought in two. We brought a junior college kid in and a transfer from Duke. So that competition is going to be fun to watch. They're going to have to work every day to earn a spot, to be on the field. So I think we'll get better. We weren't great in the secondary. We are really good. Daniel Jones had a great year at, at strong safety, and Trent Williams had a really good year at free safety. But, uh, you know, we weren't as good as we needed to be, you know, on the edge. We had great kids, and, and I love Noah and Marcus, but we needed some competition. And we just really, you know, we didn't have, com we didn't have competition. So they better come ready to compete. The guys we brought in better come ready to compete, and, and we'll, we'll put the two best guys out there. You know, offensively, last year, a lot of injuries, some turnovers. What adjustments have you made in the offseason? Um, well, the injury part of it, you know, I, you know we've, we've looked at that. We've, we've kind of figured out. Uh, not, we had not figured it out, but we're, we're looking why, you know, whether it's soft tissue injuries. We had some ACLs. We, we had everything. We had two ankle, three ankles. We had two hips. We had uh, three ACLs. We had two shoulders. So, I mean, it wasn't like you can just say, well, you know, get a new shoulder pad or something like that. I mean, it was, it was all the way across the board. And, you know, sometimes those years happen. You know, you start to get, you know, Xavier Goodall losing him in camp, who we, we think is a great back. You know, he just did it, you know, making a cut, you know, in, in, a, in a skelly period. And, um, you know, we Taz Sumter tore his making a tackle on an interception. And, you know, there were so, you know, there were such freak injuries. Um, you know, when you get two hip labrums in a season, you know, that, that's, that's kind of strange. But um, so I, I think, you know, we're, we're figuring out how to practice, you know, how, how to stay away from having these guys fatigued, getting enough work in, you know, getting them in good enough shape, getting enough snaps, enough reps, but also not fatigue them. And, and so we've done a lot of research and, and kind of revamped what we're doing in camp during the season, how we're going to practice, when we're going to practice. So hopefully that'll help us with the injuries. You know, you touched on a little bit, but you guys have added several FBS transfers. Who are some of those guys that, that you expect to make an impact and fans should be looking out for? Well, we had Charlie Fessler, wide receiver from Northwestern. And, and, and Charlie came to us mid-year, mid so he was here in the spring. 
coming off, he had three catches in the Big Ten championship game. Uh, so we were really excited about getting him. I think it, we probably wouldn't have got him if he wouldn't have been a mid-year guy. He graduated in December from Northwestern. You know, if he went through spring in this process, we, he, he probably don't get him. What a tremendous addition to this team, not only as a player, but as a person, as a leader. Um, you know, he, he, this is an example of Charlie. You know, he, we had, uh, I can't remember, we had him for spring practice and he was going home for a summer for a little bit before he came back for summer school. And, and he texted me and said, Coach, thank you so much for bringing me to the University of Richmond. I appreciate this opportunity. Um, I love it at Richmond. For him to do that, you know, says a lot about him. You know, the other guy we didn't have in the spring, but another wide out is Keaston Fuller, and uh, he looks great uh, movement-wise. We think he can take the top off defenses. He can run. Um, DB from Duke, Brandon Feimster, big, tall, physical guy that will be our boundary corner. Uh, he's adjusted unbelievably well. Jimmy Marchese is the fourth guy, and he's a linebacker from Illinois. He's been dinged up right now, but... Uh, you know, we hope he provides depth and, and becomes a player we think he can. Good deal. Well, thanks, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate